Hey YouTube, this is Manny V and you guys are watching Inspire Your Mind. We have a lovely co-host today, Cindy. Hi guys, I'm Cindy and today we're talking about finding peace within yourself. What does that mean? How do you find inner peace? And what stresses you out and how can you get to a, a better place within yourself? Finding that peace. You know, it's so critical and crucial what's going on out there. You know, CNN, Fox News, you name it. Police brutality, Black Lives Matter, and of course the Syrian war that keeps going and going. How do we actually find that inner peace from all of these things that are going in our daily lives? What are some of the highlights you would like to give to our audience? Finding your inner peace, I think, starts with yourself. Um, and it starts also with gratitude. Being grateful for the things that you have. And starting with confidence, finding that within yourself. And once you have those things and starting there, you can help finding inner peace within yourself. Now, things also, too, to kind of highlight on that are like meditation. Uh, religion, you know, those little outlets to kind of help you take away from the world, take away from the day, whatever it is. Something's bothering you, stressing you out. You need to take a step back and really practice those things. Give yourself 15 minutes. Listen to some nice music. Do something that makes you feel good, like even if it's going to grab a cup of coffee. Uh, whatever. That's really important. Finding those little moments throughout the day of, of quiet and new time and reflecting on yourself and who you are and how you feel and you know, everyone's beautiful. Right. Yeah. Feel good about themselves. Absolutely, I totally agree. I mean, the thing about it, our body at, at, at the crack of dawn has 44 megahertz. That's when we can immune all this nice positive energy. And that's the time you really want to go ahead and listen to some positive me meditation or inspirational videos. At 400 megahertz, your body's immune to all this positivity. It's when you start your day with the, the CNN and police brutality, Black Lives Matter, you're yeah. actually doing a disservice to yourself. Instead, you need to get down to business, wake up a little early, listen to some Eric Thomas, Tony Robbins, and actually start your day with some goals and peace in it. Absolutely. Wake up, you know, go for a run, do something that makes you feel good. But being addicted and watching the news, the news mainly highlights a lot of negative issues. Right. And people tend to watch more of the negative issues. You know, when something bad happens, everybody is attracted to the television. That's right. what they want to hear, that's what they want to see. Rather than good news. It's actually a statistic I read. It's almost entertaining, basically. Yeah. It's to take it's, away all the it's not excuse good. to have in life. So mm -hmm. uh, it's not me, so might as well watch somebody else, oh, you know, absolutely. killing their heads off. You know? No, we all have to be a part of it, you know. We right. have to see it. We have to, you know, be involved somehow. Right. I don't know why, but it's not, it's not good for you. And um, you need to find, again, the inner peace within yourself. And you need to do something for you to make your life a little bit more brighter, a little bit more positive. Absolutely. Finding that inner peace, bringing that balance together. You know, they say 70% of our body toxics is in our body. Mm -hmm. And yogis actually go to the Himalayas to release that body toxic by meditation. So do yourself a, a service and do some meditation. Get that 70% of that toxic out of your body by breathing in properly, mm -hmm. doing meditation, getting all that negativity energy out of you. They say that our blood cell can retain one gigabyte of memory and those are negative memory. So what if you can release all this negativity from our body cells and start some new gigabytes of mm -hmm. memory? Why not? Absolutely. Absolutely. And meditation is a really good thing that you brought up because that's really important. That's something that I'm starting to practice with is meditating and taking deep breaths and enjoying the more simpler things in life, like even washing the dishes. Right. Look at how they're clean. It makes you feel really good. But you can also have that time to just, you know, be to yourself. When you take a shower, play some music you like or not. Right. And think about positive things, things that make you feel good. You know, those are times when you really start, your mind starts to wander. We'll use those moments to help it wander to a positive, mm. happy, peaceful place. Absolutely. Speaking about taking a shower, they even said that drink a glass of water before you hit the shower and it could remove a lot of stress and even lower your blood pressure in such a way. Wow. So... I didn't know that. Yeah, and it's pretty crazy, but uh, if, you know, police, Black Lives Matter, the wars happening in Syria, if they all follow mm -hmm. this type of meditation, this type of relaxation, I think we can bring peace among ourselves and we can stop this police brutality, white against black, black against white. And we can come to understanding that we need to stick together, whether it's black, brown, or green. 
doesn't matter. We all need to stick together, and that's how we will. Um, that's how we will move on and push forward. We need to love each other. Right. We need to look out for each other. We need more of a sense of, of community. Exactly. Um, that's really, really important. A sense of community and helping each other out. If you needed water and I had some, I would give you some. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Because it's something as little as that, but you right. know, you all you have is each other. Right. So this war and this fighting and this brutality isn't isn't worth it. It doesn't matter. It's not it's just history repeating history. We had it that is. in the 60s and 70s. And we're bringing that back again. It's coming back. Civil back. rights. Mm -hmm. I mean. You I mean, would think it was still the 60s right now. Yeah, you know, exactly. So, no yeah, <laughs> and then World War II, bringing Babylon back together. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just ridiculous. We're going after Russia right now. It, Russia's pointing their nukes at us. And yeah. We're telling them to calm down. What is this, the Cold War? It, exactly. Exactly. No. Exactly. I mean, it. it's ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. It is. It is. So. But we'll find the inner peace. Exactly. With that, I'd like to end our show and just definitely mm -hmm. find that inner peace within yourself. And how should they subscribe to our show? By clicking the subscribe button or liking it. Exactly. And comment below. Absolutely. Check yeah. us on our website at inspireyourmind.org.